someone like you I want you to know me Cause I know then you'll see We can be true We can be true Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena Infantino and I do all sorts of different makeup tutorials on different things. So today I wanted to really show you guys my new palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This one caught my eye immediately because this was their first bridal inspired palette and I'm getting married this year, I'm getting married this November. So I saw this and I thought I can't wait to order this and create a bridal look for you guys. So this one is a little bit different. It's more of a pink based look. It's smoky. It's got a ton of different things going on, a strong highlight. This might not be every bride's you know, dream makeup tutorial, but this is something that you can think about for your bachelorette, your bridal shower. Anytime that you want to have a little bit of fun, this is kind of a funner look. So I feel like it is still kind of soft glam because I feel it's a very flirty look, but I also feel it, it's smoky and it, and it can be perceived many different ways. So I'm going to be doing more than one look with this palette. I want to create something a little bit softer for you guys. That's definitely in my next to-do list as I tell you guys a couple more ideas I have for upcoming videos at the end of this video. But before we get started, before I show you guys how I created this whole foundation, lipstick, eyes, lashes, everything. I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel because you'll always know when new videos are coming out and what I'm up to next. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at xomelablog underscore because that's where all the fun happens. We can go ahead and get started and I can show you guys how I created this magic. All right, so first I'm gonna start off with NYX's white eyeshadow base. It looks like this. You can get it at Ulta. I wanna say that it's $5.99. And there's generally some type of sale on it. And I just take like this basic Lancome brush that has like a flat edge. And I just do one little coat of the base on my lid. Just so that, because like I don't use primer or anything like that. So I just put a base on there so that it does prime my lids and it gives the eyeshadow something to cling to. And I'm going to go in with the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really do love this palette. It's a great palette. It is their first bridal inspired palette as I said in the intro. But I just find so much to love about any of Anastasia Beverly Hills' palettes. Um, they're generally my favorite eyeshadow palettes next to Morphe and things like that. So I really do love them. I kind of had a hard time because this is supposed to be their first bridal inspired palette, but I couldn't find the bridal look that I was going for. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what I did and you guys can let me know what you think. I'm going to start off by putting tempera in the crease, which is like the white shade up there. Um, I'm just going to take it in windshield wiper motions where my brow bone is. I have very small eyelids as I have said in my previous tutorials. It's just how my eye, you know, were made. So I just work with what I got. I'm going to take this once again and then I'm going to go in with the color Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. I believe that that one's also in the Modern Renaissance palette, um, which is amazing because the Modern Renaissance palette was one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes to date. I could probably do a bridal inspired uh, tutorial with that one for sure. Or like maybe like a bridal shower because it'll be something like a little bit more fun. Bachelorette, night out on the town because I love any type of like pinks and reds and just getting super creative. I love thinking outside the box and just creating different looks. Like when I get an eyeshadow palette that makes me want to like use it and create with it, you know it's a good palette took this under where I put tempura and I just kind of keep blending it in so it doesn't look like a harsh line and you don't have to be super careful because you can always take your concealer and just buff out any of the excess shadow that you may have put on. Really quickly underneath that I'm going to go in with the color rustic which is right here and I'm just going to take a light 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 amount and I'm just going to blend it into where I put the orange shade just to give it a little bit more drama. I'm kind of into warm tones and anything that is pink, <laughs> anything that says rosé, I like. I'm going to take the shade Cypress Umber and it's this that, you know, it's like a cool brown. I have just an Ulta crease brush, which is what I use for all of my smoky looks to kind of smoke out the lid. 
um, and it's a very, very, very dark shade. So I'm just gonna take it and put it all over the outer corner on my lid. And like I said, you don't have to be super careful, as you can tell, because it will all blend together in the end. see I have the smokiness and then I'm going to go back within with the NYX white eyeshadow base and I'm going to take the same Lancome brush do another little coat right in the inner corner of my eye wherever I pretty much didn't put Cypress Umber and I'm just going to coat that so that it has a fresh eyeshadow base so that when I put glitter on it will stick so I like to use somewhat of a flat tip for um, for any type of glitter, I just feel like it makes it stick a little bit better. So I'm gonna go in with the color Rose Pink, which I'm obsessed with. It's this pink sparkly color. And I'm just going to take the flat end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to gently tap in there, blow off any excess shadow, and then just kind of coat it onto the lid. As you can see, it has a lot of pigment. That's the thing about all of these shadows, is that they have a ton of pigment and I do like a couple coats because this is bridal this is supposed to be dramatic and it's got to stay so when I think of the look that I want I want something a little bit pink a little bit neutral but still smoky at the same time and so I'm just creating something that I would wear so once you get the rose pink and these two, you wanna make the two worlds come together. So I'm gonna take the fresh end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills fluffier part and I'm gonna go back in with Cypress Umber and I'm just going to kind of gently glide it across the two, where like the two areas meet so that we have some sort of unison between the colors. And the fluffier the brush, the better they are at blending. Just go back and forth between the two colors just to make sure that they do, you know, blend in there. Next I'm gonna take the Morphe inner, it doesn't have a name, but I use this for the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna set it with a Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray from Makeup Revolution, and I'm going to dip in to the color glistening which is right next to the white shade it's just like a gold shade I'm just going to use it to go on the inner corners of my eye and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit if you guys can see up a little bit into where the pink is I feel like it lightens up the look a little bit and it makes it look a little bit more fun this is definitely something I'd wear to my bridal shower. Just because I like fun looks. I'm definitely more of like an offbeat bride, so. I think that that will be a fun look to do. And then I'm gonna take this angled uh, eyeliner brush from Ulta, and I'm going to dip into the shade Rustic, which is this orangey brown color. Blow off any excess powder, that's a huge thing. And I'm just going to put it under my waterline. Well, off camera, all I did was put on Ardell Fake Lashes. They're the faux mink ones in the style 811. I'm going to quickly prep and prime my face. So I'm just going to use Benefit's Pore Professional Primer. Um, I've already moisturized my face today, so I don't really want to do it a second time. Picking a foundation for a bridal tutorial, it's kind of hard because you want all sorts of things. You want something that's going to keep your face matte and not shiny. You want something that's going to give you good coverage and like stay and wear all day. So for my oily skin, and this could even be for combination skin, I wouldn't say so much for dry skin. I decided that Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation would be best. With the right mattifying primer, your face isn't gonna get shiny, and if my face gets shiny and my face is extremely oily, it gives you that shine that makes you look like you're wearing something luminescent. So I am gonna go in with this, and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to blend it into my skin. This one's probably a shade or two too dark, but 
None of my foundations are really correct right now. The difference between this mirror and my vanity mirror is because my vanity mirror is so far away, I had to get a smaller one that hangs off the side of the vanity. It flips, so one side is just like a normal mirror and the other side is like a super magnifying mirror. This mirror is exactly the same except it's like one that you can put on a table or something. And this mirror has one side that is, um, you know, just like a normal mirror and then the other side is, uh, is used for like magnifying. Next I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape Full Coverage Concealer. I'll probably use a little bit more than I'm used to um, for an event. So if I'm going to a wedding or it's my wedding or anything like that, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna highlight where I usually highlight. So I always do a little bit right there because it helps break up the foundation. And then I use just a little bit more than usual underneath my eyes, which is still a lot less than most people use with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just kind of crazy and I don't like a lot. Because I think it's so full coverage on its own that when you start adding things in there like that, you uh, it's hard to go back. Next, I'm gonna bake my face with Laura Mercier Tr Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to bake where I put any type of concealer. I just think that it's necessary when you use concealer. I feel that it makes my concealer look so much better and you, it, I feel like it, it just sets it. It makes it look like, you know, frozen a lot there. And it mattifies it immensely to the point where I can notice a difference. I feel like I look more airbrushed after I bake. Hey guys, I'm buffing out my <laughs> bronzer because I just bronzed on, on camera, which I thought, but I never pressed to start, so I didn't get it on video. But I'm just buffing it out, so to bronze up this look, I used Hula by Benefit. I think this is the best bronzer to bronze up any look, especially in the winter time. Like, I'm very fair right now, but with a little bit of bronzer, I can make any look look a little bit more glam. And I definitely made my foundation look a little bit more bronzy and sun-kissed. So I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques brush. This is the 302. This is a part of their one series. I got this in a kit of things. Such a pretty brush. It's like purple and sparkly. I'm gonna go in with Milani's Blossom Time Rose Blush. This is my favorite blush right now. It's drugstore. It's extremely affordable. And I feel like it just makes the apples of your cheeks look so cute and flushed. And I always start with just a little bit and then I work my way up with blush because you really never know with some blushes. I like this blush a lot better than a lot of high-end blushes, which is so crazy to me. So, it's like six or seven dollars at Walmart. And just with anything else, I put on a lot and then I buff it in with my buffing brush. I feel like with your wedding day or any type of event, you want a lot of blush because if you don't have really strong cheekbones, you want to emphasize what you have blush and bronzing and contouring and all that fun stuff is a really great way to do it. That's how I do it because I have very, a very round face and I just, I don't have those high cheekbones that everybody has. So if you have them, you're so lucky. So I'm gonna try, this is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighter. So it's an opal. So I've been dying to try these and I actually got this as like a little sample when I bought my Champagne Pop a couple days ago because I need to get a new one and that's my holy grail of highlighters. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger which I know is so bad and I'm just going to add it to my skin where I'm going to highlight. I'm going to highlight over it, of course, but I just want to see a little bit. So if you guys can see that, oh it's like such a pretty highlight. I would totally like buy this. Probably why they gave it to me because they know I'm a Becca freak and I buy a champagne pop every other day because I go through it so fast. So I feel like with liquid highlighters, I always use my finger. I tried using a beauty blender, but it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. So if you guys can see that, that's just like a cute little highlight. Like for your bridal shower or something like that, if it's like in the morning and you don't want a striking highlight but you want a little bit of something, I feel like that's so cute. I'm gonna put it on my nose. 
my cupid bow. So I'm gonna set my face with Makeup Revolution's Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. Definitely something you don't wanna skip on your big day. You wanna set your makeup. I'm gonna go in with another Real Techniques brush. This is a fan brush. Set that. And I'm going with a brand new Becca Champagne Pop that hasn't even been touched yet. So if you guys wanna feast your eyes on the beauty of a fresh, brush highlight and I'm just going to yeah that's what I'm talking about I think for your wedding day and all the things that have to do with your wedding you should definitely invest in a good highlighter because you are going to be taking lots of pictures and I think there's nothing prettier in a picture than a strong highlight I know for my wedding and things like that, I'm gonna want something somewhat of a neutral, but you know, mauvey or pinky lip. I'm gonna go in with Angelia Cosmetics Bombshell. So like, this is just a really pretty pink color. This is a matte liquid lipstick. I go in with my Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper. because I definitely want to sparkle. A little gloss. So that's all that I have for you guys today. This is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. It's something a little bit different. It's definitely not your classic bridal, bridal shower, bachelorette look. I think bachelorette can be a little bit more fun, whereas bridal shower can also be, but maybe your wedding day you want something a little bit more serious. I think this eye is super smoky and it's super fun and it's something that I would wear on my wedding day to be perfectly honest, because I like to be a little bit different and I definitely want to be myself on my wedding day. I want to feel comfortable in my own skin. I don't want to be wearing some really neutral makeup that I just don't feel glamorous in. Sometimes the best way to look glamorous is to go a little bit out of your comfort zone, try out different colors, and that's what this palette is supposed to do. So Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills was the first bridal inspired palette from them and I think that they did a really good job. I definitely want to try out other looks. I, I want to do a little bit more of a softer glam type look with this palette so that's something that's going to be on my to-do list for the Axel Mello wedding series. I think that would be really really fun just to create something maybe not so loud you know but I definitely want to try out as many different looks as I can so if you guys have any suggestions please leave them down below. If you want to see any different kind of bridal looks or maybe just photo friendly looks or just any questions that you guys might have for events and different kind of high glam makeup, you guys can leave down below and let me know what you want to see next. I have a couple ideas. Um, I really want to focus on some drugstore looks, so if you guys want to see a drugstore bridal tutorial, if you guys want to see me testing out new drugstore products, that's also something that I think I'm going to do pretty soon. I did that recently, but I had a lot of fun, and I want to go back to the drugstore and fill up my car and buy a bunch of different products and see what works and what doesn't. Don't forget if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and share this with any of your friends that might be getting married or might have some special events coming up please share this with them because I think that they might like it or if they're thinking about this palette then please just share this video with them if you guys don't follow me on Instagram be sure to follow me on Instagram I post all sorts of different makeup looks with all the brands and different shades tags so if there's any ever a makeup look that I wear in a video where I don't do the makeup, I tag it on Instagram. So that is at X-O-M-E-L-L-A-B-L-O-G underscore, X-O-M-E-L-L-A-B-L-O-G underscore. And I'm just really fun on there, so you guys should follow me. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all again in my next video.